of the day. Is BP dong enough? I think so. Very dong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So so I think you missed it um, earlier. I don't know if you caught it. But the reason why we're asking that question is because that's what was written on the TV screen. Is BP dong enough? And I just thought it was funny. Yeah. So, so okay. So let's just change that to is, is BP doing enough? Do you think BP is doing enough? Not really. I think they've got to be doing something faster. Keep all that oil from... Pouring into the ocean every day by thousands of barrels. Maybe the CEO should go on more yacht club tours or something. <laughs> eh? But it's going to take years and years and years to get all that oil cleaned out of the water there. Hey, they said the end of the world is 2012. This could be the beginning of it. The beginning of the end, folks. <laughs> <laughs> because look oh, at you know, the beaches are all going to be deserted. Nobody's going to go down to Florida for... Tourism now, the fisheries are dead, and the uh, tourism is going to be dead because nobody's going to go down there. Looks great for tourism in, in Wisconsin, though. They're really expecting a big boom in tourism dollars because of all this. Yes, <laughs> right. <laughs> and everybody be going to California or other places, too, where yeah. there is no uh, pollution in yeah. the water. Well, yeah, but you know what? This is, this is going to be very widespread. I mean, it's not going to be just Florida you know, or Texas or whatever, you know, experiencing these problems, you know, this oil is going to come, like they're saying it's going to come up the coast, and then there, are, then, then there are the really doom and gloomers out there that are like, oh, there's going to be like toxic rain for years to come, this and that. But you know what? This is, I mean, what we're hearing, I bet you it is not even a fraction of, of, how bad it really is i mean like what we're hearing is nothing like actually being down there even though you like when you see these people bursting out in tears talking about this you know they're not just being drama queens like 12 year olds where i work uh -huh. <laughs> what about the uh, exxon valdez that went that spilled its oil in 89 right and they're still cleaning up after that 21 years later right and this is like way larger Many times, you know, I, like it just astounds me. It's like trying to trying to measure the size of the universe or something. You just can't do it. It could you go all the way. You up can't Canada. measure the effects of this oil spill. Like that's all there is to it. I could go up to. But anyway, place. so the question is though, I mean, there, there. I mean, we are humans. We can't do everything. We can't just wave a magic wand, and make things better. But is the oil company involved? Huh. B BP. Yes. Doing enough to try to, to try to fix this. Well, I mean, everybody's been talking about. I mean, I find it funny that uh, everybody heard about this yacht trip that the guy went on. But I mean, what's that guy gonna do to stop this? I mean, really, is he just like a figurehead for BP? Like, is he actually gonna be working on hand with the engineers? Yeah, but out of respect, uh, it's respect, respect. I mean, like the guys got people You're that so guy cold. doesn't well he doesn't do anything i can guarantee you that that guy all he does is show up at a board meeting and go mm -ha, mm -ha, and then he gets his paycheck and the people who are in charge of the people who are working hard on that right now so i think like to say that they're not trying to stop this would be ridiculous i think from what we're hearing in the media about what's going on and what's actually happening it, and then you got like the people who are saying it's not going to be a problem. You got the people who are saying it's going to be the biggest disaster ever. The end of the world. Truth is probably one year away. Probably somewhere in the middle, as mm -hmm. it generally is. Okay, five years away. Five years. Well, I mean, it might take a long time to clean up, but it is what it is. There's nothing you can do about it now. I mean, all you can do is try. All you can do is try to stop it. And I'm sure that it's all are... you people driving around your BMWs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not BMWs, it's the Escalades. The Escalades, yeah, the on. SUVs. You <laughs> soccer moms out there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they were predicted in. Quit taking your kids now. to soccer practice. <laughs> make them walk. <laughs> yeah, make make, make them walk yourself. while dribbling a football. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> two two miles in bare right. feet in the snow. <laughs> I'll feel both ways. They figure hey. 20 years from now, they're going to have a world without oil. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Uh, it's all going to be in the... Well, that's what we're, stir now. we're stirring it in the ocean for <laughs> the future. <laughs> hey, cool. Brayden Adams is welcome to come in. And his friend Russell. I don't know, are they coming in? Oh, no. are, are you guys coming in? <laughs> sure. 
<laughs> All right, come in and have a seat. We're talking about oil spills on the end of the world. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. and Metallica and ACDC. And Metallica. Oh, I brought, just for you, I brought, nothing says heavy metal more than the Donnas there, Braden. Oh, yeah. Especially with the album Bitching. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, we're just on the oil. Okay, first, Braden, is BP Dong enough? <laughs> dong enough? Yeah. Okay, the, it's an inside joke. Because, well, not really inside. It's just because that was what was accidentally written on the newscast. Breaking news. Oh, before okay. the first time you remember to put in the <laughs> eye. So, so do you think do you think BP is doing enough? I don't know. What, are, what, are, what well, should they be doing? Cleaning up the damn spill, right? Yeah. So if they're not doing that, yeah, then they're not doing it. Enough. <laughs> there you go. I like that. That's a great answer. They're not doing it, then they're not doing enough. They are doing it. They're doing enough. Yeah. There you go. Two months ago, last year? Yeah. Okay. Me? I don't know. Man. Yeah. That pretty much sums it up. Keep, I don't sure. know. As far as they're doing commercial. all that they're capable of, which they probably aren't. Are it's, they're a bunch of, it's, it's a corporation. They're, they're, well, no, it's if, just like, if like, have, the five guys or whatever that are actually making money off this Wednesdays have to lose anything, works, then they won't, like, uh, you know, they're not going to put in a lot of, as, as much money as they should towards it, so. Yeah, I'm going to assume they're not doing enough, but. Yeah, I know. I'd like to assume that, like, oh, no, they're probably not doing enough. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't know. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah. I don't know if there's not, like, a team of, like, 100 engineers that BP is paying to, like, try to figure out how to fix this problem, which is probably, like, what's actually happening. Yeah, imagine. now it probably yeah, is. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, like, who am I to say they're not doing enough when all I would do is, like, grab a sponge. And you're still, dri and you're still yeah, driving yeah, around in a beat. car that yeah, runs exactly. on oil I'm not, products. I'm not doing enough, so I can't And they say it's going to be August out. before they get a relief well drilled in there to stop the flow of oil, put concrete in it. Who knows? I don't even know what you just said to me. That's, that's <laughs> <pretty much. laughs> is, is that enough? Sure, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, the thing about it is, if the Americans and the Obama administration actually wanted everything fixed they would have made it legal that every single uh oil company had to abide by certain standards that's exactly what happened with bp bp wasn't abiding by the legal standards things happen and now there's a giant thing in the gulf of mexico or yeah. it is mm -hmm. yeah gulf yeah, of mexico okay so with that maybe it's the whole thing of uh, harsher penalties for people that don't abide by laws or anything like that. Well, that's all well and yeah. good, though. I mean, like, that's easy. that's all well and good and stuff like that, but, I mean, what do we do now? Like, what do we do now? I mean, I get, like, I get the whole, yeah, like, enforcement <laughs> in the future, but I think that's pretty much done deal at this point. I think, like, oh, yeah, for there it's... to be nothing done after this would be insanity, but pointing fingers off into the future and being like, oh, this, I'm not going to let this happen again, blah, 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 that doesn't really help anybody this time, you know? No, it's happened, it's done, and yeah. it's going to take forever done, to clean it up. Yeah. And we're going to pay for it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> But there's nothing you can do okay, about I, I just want to mention something that's kind of a little bit off topic, but on topic, that's too. That's what you do, Johnny. Let's have it. Yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah. That's what I do. I'm damn good at it, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, you know, there's all this talk about there being a $20 billion aid package, and they're spending all this money. They're using so many resources. And never once have I, unless I, I weren't, uh, if I weren't paying attention, then tell me, but... I didn't hear once the word bankruptcy or anything or going out of business or anything like that. You talking? So, are you talking about BP Oil? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just astounded bankruptcy. at yes. how much money these guys must have to be like, oh yeah, we're gonna give twenty billion dollars in aid. Cool. Some small countries can't give twenty billion dollars in aid. I want to know how much money that boat, that tanker was worth. How much money, like how much oil in a dollar amount did they have on that thing? And how much yeah. was the actual tanker worth? Yeah, was it exactly. Busted out or not? But like, <laughs> but at the, but I mean, at the, to think that that's the only tanker they got floating around in the ocean right now is pretty pretty ridiculous so yeah 20 right. billion dollars so that's a that's a lot of money man <laughs> the donna's bitches i'm gonna play like an animal <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, johnny's got a mission now <laughs> purple johnny is a hey. fancy purple yeah. marble purple. Purple. wow look at that yeah, let's get a little closer to that the there looks, the, i don't really know if you yeah, can pick it up on the camera vinyl. but 